last Christmas, I gave my husband a Kobo Libra 2 because he actually uses my e-reader every now and then. And because that's a Kindle and I'm very happy with it, I thought uh, to give him a different brand. So I got him a Kobo Libra 2. So let me show you the features of this e-reader. Just a quick heads up, the settings of this e-reader is set to the Dutch language, just in case you don't understand some of the words you see. Uh, but of course, you can always set yours to your own preferred language. All right, so this e-reader, um, it's on a sleep mode right now. As you can see, it's a slap stand. Uh, that's a sleep mode and my first impression is that it's actually light but i feel that it's a little bit heavier than my uh, kindle oasis but um, we'll talk about that uh, later on or on uh, another video i can also tell you that this one has a um, on button at the back and it has a better grip uh, the reason being you can see here if i can show it to you there's a little bit of a raised edge and so that actually helps with the grip. So if you're a left side, um, if you prefer rather to hold it on your left hand, you can do it this way. And if you want to hold it on your right hand, you can hold it this way. Um, now it's, a, of course, it's turned off, so, or it's on sleep mode, so it doesn't actually uh, reorient the page, but um, I'm gonna show you later that it will. All right, so let's turn on this e-reader. So I'm gonna click it here. And there you go. So now let's uh, look at the homepage. The homepage is here on the bottom of the screen. So in here it'll show you what current books you've been reading uh, and also some of the recommended books. So you can see here that my husband only uh, so far have uh, installed one ebook. And then um, let's continue on further. Here it says my books on the bottom here. Yeah, there you go. All right, so, and then of course, it'll show you all the books that you have purchased so far. Um, and of course, with this one, we only have one. But then what's good about this, it, it also allows you to um, look by authors. Hold on, let me click on that. So you can also look by authors. And then also if you have series, then you can see that as well. Or if you happen to make a collection of books that you've um, read, then you can see it on this page too. So now let's go back to my books. And then here on the bottom of the screen, you still have also uh, this Discover. And um, here you will now see other uh, ebooks that are recommended, as well as audiobooks. There you go. All right, so now you also have your um, uh, audiobooks here that are available for you. And if you happen to have a Kobo Plus or a subscription, then you can also avail of all the different um, eBooks and audiobooks on this um, page as well. All right, so then, um, and then here there's more, so the options. So here you can have your um, wish list and all of the articles or other books and activity. Um, and here in the activity, you can actually see statistics. And so here it tells you how many hours you've read a particular book how many pages per minute you've uh, uh, read, um, et cetera, et cetera. We also have here a beta function, um, but not all of them are actually supported by Kobo um, at the moment. Okay, and then you also have your settings and um, a help function here. All right, so going back to the home page, and then let's open this ebook so that we can show you the different functions that it has. Okay, so right now we are on this page, which is page 52 out of 2,523. <laughs> All right, of this um, of this book. If you look at it, actually the screen is um, very nicely lit, but you can also have the option of changing the screen brightness and how you do that is you can click on this button here and you can have the brightness and also you can also have the warmth here or natural light you can put it on auto um, on automatic or if you look at it here you can also increase the brightness of your page let me see if it shows or it translates on the screen see it gets brighter and brighter or you can also make it darker and the same thing for the natural light or the warmth I'll turn that off 
there and then you can see that little by little it gets to the warmer colors which is a little more orange on the screen if I may say so I'm not sure if you can see that on your screen but for me here um, the color is turning a little bit more orange or more warm colors so let's put that back on automatic and then another feature that you can do here is for example um, let's look for a word let's say you're not familiar with a certain word let's say the word is faint so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna hold that word for a couple of seconds and it will give you a definition of course this is in Dutch as I had mentioned earlier so it's gonna give the definition in Dutch but then you also can highlight it like so or um, let's remove the highlight or you can also make some notes see oh hold on yeah and also you can make some notices or notes you can type it, type it in and then save it and so on and so forth that is if you're connected to the internet another interesting find about this which is a special feature I believe of Kobo uh, Kobo Libra is that you have this function and this is an ability of this uh, e-reader to uh, set your screen into a portrait or a landscape mode. So right now it's on portrait mode, but you can also put it on landscape. And voila! There, then it is actually easier to read, uh, some say. Or you can also turn it the other way. If you prefer to hold it here on the bottom this way with 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 that grip with that um, raised edge of course here you also have the uh, page button so you can go um, turn the page with your with the buttons or you can also just turn the page by going this way or just slide across slide your finger across the screen this way so uh, basically this Kobo Libra 2 is a great option to get as an e-reader um, if this is going to be your first time to have an e-reader at home I highly recommend this one only because for the price compared to let's say the Kindle uh, Oasis that I have this is more affordable of course and then the battery life I believe is six weeks but it can also last longer if you keep it on an airplane mode or you can turn off the Wi-Fi and also this is waterproof so if you're new to ebooks and e-readers this kobo libra 2 which is the latest device in the lineup of e-readers uh, by kobo may just be a good option for you so there you have it i hope you like this video and if you have any questions or any comments leave that on the description or oh, sorry on our comment section below and if you're also planning to buy a kobo libra 2 uh, this year or any other e-readers for that matter uh, let me know as well and of course if you happen to like this video Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Bye for now.